Hey guys, this is Teacher Elo, and I'm here to help you read with me with Story 1 for Advanced. So how do we practice with this video? First time, you're going to listen and repeat slowly. Then we do a second practice where you listen and repeat faster. And at the end, we do a third practice where we read together at the same time. Remember to practice many times with the video or with any of the stories. That way you improve your pronunciation and understand the words better. And at the end of the video, we do have new words and phrases that we review. Okay, first time, listen and repeat. Sarah has a headache again. She's tired and gets frustrated. At the drop of a hat. For lunch, she had a nice cheeseburger, fries, and soda. Sarah wonders if the constant headaches could be caused by her diet. She enjoys sweet treats, fast food, and coffee. Her best friend Maya has told her to watch what she eats. But Sarah is young and doesn't care. Maybe she'll feel better tomorrow. Okay, good. That was the first repetition. Now we're going to repeat again, and this time it will be a little faster. So let's go. Sarah has a headache again. She's tired and gets frustrated at the drop of a hat. For lunch, she had a nice cheeseburger, fries, and soda. Sarah wonders if the constant headaches could be caused by her diet. She enjoys sweet treats, fast food, and coffee. Her best friend Maya has told her to watch what she eats, but Sarah is young and doesn't care. Maybe she'll feel better tomorrow. All right, perfect. So next time we're going to read here one more time and it's going to be together. So you have to read with me at the same time. Remember, if you like this video, you can subscribe and ring the bell so you get new videos every week. Okay, let's start all together. Sarah has a headache again. She's tired and gets frustrated at the drop of a hat. For lunch, she had a nice cheeseburger, fries, and soda. Sarah wonders if the constant headaches 
could be caused by her diet. She enjoys sweet treats, fast food, and coffee. Her best friend Maya has told her to watch what she eats, but Sarah is young and doesn't care. Maybe she'll feel better tomorrow. Fantastic. That sounded great. Um, now we're going to review some of the words and phrases that you heard and maybe don't understand or you need a review just to remember. First one is the phrase, at the drop of a hat. This is a phrase like an idiom that means instantly or at the moment. So in this story, Sarah gets frustrated quickly, instantly. Something bad happens and ah, oh, she loses control. She gets frustrated quickly, instantly. Okay, next one is the word constant. Constant is telling you how often. It means always or with frequency. Right, so constant headaches means she gets many headaches. Maybe one headache per week or two headaches per week. That's too many, right? That's a constant problem. Okay, and the next one, watch what you eat. Watch what you eat. This is a phrase that means be careful or pay attention with the food you eat. It's usually telling you to eat healthy, right? So if my friend tells me, hey, teacher Elo, you need to watch what you eat, she's telling me, hey, I see you're not eating very well. Please pay attention, eat better food. Okay, so watch what you eat. It's a good recommendation. Okay, let's start with the first one. Listen and repeat. Sarah still has a headache. Her stomach is rumbling. And she doesn't feel like working. She looks at the caramel iced coffee on her desk. Perhaps she should stop drinking them. Her phone buzzes with a message. from her healthy friend, Maya. Be healthy. Sarah tosses the coffee and takes three gulps of water. She feels refreshed. She texts back Maya and says, Will do. Okay, good job. We're going to repeat it again, but a little faster. Sarah still has a headache. Her stomach is rumbling and she doesn't feel like working. She looks at the caramel iced coffee on her desk. Perhaps she should stop drinking them. Her phone buzzes with a message from her healthy friend, Maya. Be healthy.
Sarah tosses the coffee and takes three gulps of water. She feels refreshed. She texts back Maya and says, Will do. All right, great work. So now we're going to do it one more time. We're going to repeat everything. And before that, just remember, if you want more videos like this, you can subscribe to the Teacher Elo channel. That way you get a new video every week. All right, so let's read together at the same time. Sarah still has a headache. Her stomach is rumbling and she doesn't feel like working. She looks at the caramel iced coffee on her desk. Perhaps she should stop drinking them. Her phone buzzes with a message from her healthy friend Maya. Be healthy. Sarah tosses the coffee and takes three gulps of water. She feels refreshed. She texts back Maya and says, Will do. All right, great. Now we're going to review some words and phrases that you might have some problems with or that are challenging. So the first one is the word rumbling. Rumbling. So this is a sound. It's a low rattling sound. It's usually the sound when your stomach is hungry. Right, so if you're hungry, your stomach starts talking to you, right, like grrr, that's rumbling. Next one is the word buzz or buzzes. And this is also a sound, and usually it's coming from your phone or electronics. And it's, let's say somebody texts you and your phone has a little bit of vibration, so it moves on your desk, and it's a bzz, bzz a buzz sound. Next one is the word toss or tosses. And toss is to throw. Not too far, you're just throwing it a few feet away. Um, here she says she tosses her coffee. That means she throws it away in the trash. Okay, so if you want to throw something in the trash, you can say, I tossed it or I'm going to toss it. We understand it means in the trash, usually. And the last one is gulp. Gulp. This means to swallow quickly in large amounts. So maybe she's very thirsty and she gulps her water. She takes big, big uh, amounts of water and swallows them. And usually you can hear a little sound. Listen and repeat. Today is the third day. That Sarah is watching what she eats. It's not a diet. She is only making careful decisions. About her food choices. She is reading a book about whole food meals. and watched an eye-opening movie about sugar addiction. Sarah believes she might be addicted to sugar. She is craving her iced coffee.
On a healthy website, she found a recipe for a substitute iced coffee. And we'll prepare it with a little honey instead of sugar. Good job, Sarah. All right, great. Good job to you, too. So we're going to read again a little faster. Okay, so let's continue. Today is the third day that Sarah is watching what she eats. It's not a diet. She is only making careful decisions about her food choices. She is reading a book about whole food meals and watched an eye-opening movie about sugar addiction. Sarah believes she might be addicted to sugar. She is craving her iced coffee. On a healthy website, she found a recipe for a substitute iced coffee and will prepare it with a little honey instead of sugar. Good job, Sarah. All right, good. So now that you've listened and repeated, now we're going to read together. But before we do that, if you're interested in these videos, you can subscribe and hit the bell. That way you can get a new video every week. Okay, let's read together at the same time. Let's go. Today is the third day that Sarah is watching what she eats. It's not a diet. She is only making careful decisions about her food choices. She is reading a book about whole food meals and watched an eye-opening movie about sugar addiction. Sarah believes she might be addicted to sugar. She is craving her iced coffee. On a healthy website, she found a recipe for a substitute iced coffee and will prepare it with a little honey instead of sugar. Good job, Sarah. All right, good. Good for you, too. Now we're going to review six words and phrases that might be a little challenging. So the first one is watch what you eat. This means be careful with the food that you eat. It's usually when we're talking about eat healthier, right? We want you to eat, eat better food, so watch what you eat. The next word in the story was whole foods. Whole foods. This means natural foods that are not very processed by machines. Or, or by people. The examples would be strawberries are whole foods, but strawberry ice cream is processed, so it's not a whole food. So we know strawberry ice cream, we have to cut the strawberries, we put milk and sugar and cream and a lot of different things, we mix it, we put it in the freezer, it's not whole and natural anymore. Okay, next one, addiction. This is a big word and it means physical 
or psychological dependence, usually on a substance, but it could also be a person. So in this case, Sarah says she might be addicted to sugar, which means she has a physical, which means her body gets hungry for the sugar in the coffee. And it could be psychological because her mind is telling her, hey, Sarah, you need coffee right now. Go get some. So it's a very strong feeling and it's a very serious thing. Okay, number four is craving. Craving. Craving is a strong desire or to strongly want something. So same thing about the iced coffee. It's not that she thinks it's a good idea. It's she really feels that it's necessary for her. She's craving that coffee. Next word is substitute. Substitute. It means to take the place of another thing or a replacement. In the story, Sarah substituted the sugar for honey. So no sugar. She will use honey. It's replacing the sugar. Okay, the last one is eye opening. Eye opening. This means to suddenly learn something or to be shocked to learn something. In this case, Sarah watched the movie about sugar addiction and it opened her eyes or opened her mind and she is learning something new. But it was a very strong movie. All right, so I'm really glad you stayed till the end and learned those new words. If you still have questions, make sure to leave a comment and I can respond to you and help you there. You should practice English every day. That way you're using your mind and using your words. Remember to listen and repeat this story or any of the reading stories. We do have beginning, intermediate, and advanced stories. It's good to practice with a loud and confident voice, which means don't whisper. Use your regular voice so you can use all of your voice muscles, right? We do need to practice uh, those voice muscles. And like always, thank you for your time.